Hi guys, it's another glorious day here at nap time and you won't believe what project we are tackling today. Remember all those rivets that we popped in? Let me show you. What's up YouTube? I'm Mr. Cool today, see? Got my glasses on. <laughs> Hot. Yeah, so we're up here caulking rivets. I call it, I guess you could just call it caulking the rivets, whatever. Um, these are not waterproof rivets. So as much as anybody that doesn't want to caulk them wants to fool themselves, go ahead. But I'm here to tell you, they're not waterproof. So depend on how the stud broke off in there. And also like I can show you right here, some of them that aren't laying down because of the... So right here, See how that one's not laying down, that one's not laying down, that one's not down tight. So we have three spots where we have, it takes three days for the water to come in, but we got three leaks. And uh, this is all I can figure that uh, it's the only place left. So that is one of the reasons we extended the rain gutter over the door because one of them is on the back corner of that door. Um, but Anyhow, it doesn't take that long to caulk these. We're caulking them with Cicaflex. So there's another one that's a potential leaker. Yeah. See them sticking up. And once you have spray foamed inside and water gets in here, it might follow a channel two foot forward or two foot back. It's like, it's very hard to trace where those leaks are coming from. Anyhow, we're gonna caulk them all. This is the route we're choosing to go, huh? Shelly's really excited about doing this, too. Yeah, can't you tell? <laughs> this is Shelly really happy, yes. Well, at least we did move back on the shady side, but our top is still in the sunshine, so... Yeah, we... We, we will get it done. Then we swirl them like an ice cream cone. I like to drag it in multiple directions to try to get it down into that stud hole. So I've got some paint thinner on a paper towel and then I just come back and kind of in a circular motion wipe the excess off. Oh, and I don't have my gloves on. So here's what they look like after they've been caulked. Hot caulked, Sika flexed. Oh, Sika flexed. So we just clean up with the paint thinner, which you saw Shelly doing. And now the hole, the center hole is filled and there's a nice little bead of caulk left around the rivet. That's the sound of the men working on the train. <laughs> You're so funny. Well, it is. Hey, I got my gloves on now, YouTube. I couldn't believe I forgot my gloves when I first started. I think my upper body's going to feel this tomorrow. Seek a flex on, seek a flex off. <laughs> See what I have to live with, YouTube. On a daily basis, you just never know what's gonna come out of that mouth. So, this seems like a daunting task, but it's really, we're almost to the door on the top track, which should be. I love your optimism, honey. What? That's one-fifth of the way. Do that five more times and we're done. On one side. There's two, mm -hmm. there's two sides to this bus. It's going really easily. Look how beautiful they look. Now we don't have to worry about them. Yes, yeah, we'll know that they're good and sealed. But you definitely want to rub this stuff off while it's fresh and doesn't set very long because it really tacks up pretty quick. And you're just using clean paper towels and plain old paint thinner. 
Yeah. As long as you don't let it set too long, you can wipe the excess right back off. So guys, sometimes we do things a little hard here. Um, we started originally on this side of the bus and got right up to that first window. And, um, but it was hot. I mean, it's like 82 degrees here and then we're on the asphalt. And so we're so grateful for the blue sky and the warm weather, but we're like, why are we torturing ourselves? So we moved to the back of the bus but it's a little bit crowded or back there. So we're making it work, but we're in the shade and it feels awesome. And so here we go. Here's our working conditions. It's working, but we have these flower pots that we have to, or I should say rock gardens or whatever that we have to work around. But we are getting it done. We're almost halfway down this side. Wouldn't you say we're about halfway, baby, after that? Yeah. So we're making progress. I know. I know we found probably six possible intrusion points already. So for us, the way the rivets went on and everything, this is definitely like, like there's another one right there. So I don't know if they're leaking, but I think we're doing good by sealing them up. It's a good precaution, huh? I feel good about it. Well, this is a story of our life. I'm making a mess and you've helped clean it up. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> so we're getting a system down. Randy's putting the Cicaflex on and then I come back and um, wipe it all off. And it seems to be working good. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's um, day two of a rivet feeling. So we are getting closer. Um, we are halfway on the passenger side and we just- Rivet main. <laughs> I'm tired of doing it. Oh, the number of times that we have to go up and down the scaffold, we're both feeling it. But um, we are just about done. We've only got, um, we're about halfway down this side and we will get her done. So I'm going to um, bring out the music and get Randy to rockin' and usually that'll keep him going. You can see our little boom box there on top of the pickup. But um, yeah, we're gonna groove to some music and get this job done. Okay guys, we made it to the end. All of the rivets on this bus are Cicaflex. And um, I know a while ago I counted and I know there was over a thousand rivets on this bus, but we have covered every single one of them. So you know what that means? We're getting closer to being able to paint our bus. So stay tuned painting is in our future we are so excited so anyway um just know we love sharing the journey with you guys and we will just catch you in the next one love to you all bye